Hey Andrew, this is Dusty over here at German Auto Center. Just want to go ahead and make that video for you. I'm going to go over what we talked about on your car. Um, this is the rear axle side seal oil leak um, coming from this side. You can kind of see this is uh, it's developing uh, a small drip from this side. Um, on the driver's side, it looks like it's just sweating around that area, so it's not too big of a concern. And on the back cover side, it's usually what's the, the blowback because it's uh, as you're driving down the, the road there is blowing all the oil that's dripping from that side back across the, the reverse section of the diff so that's where you're seeing that it is has a small sweating issue from the front pinion seal and that's going back um, so we're going to clean that off and address that at another time see if uh, we're going to kind of monitor it see if it gets any worse over the, the course of the car's life um, so that's one and then we have the other one this is the driver's side of the car and that's the oil stand right there that's the bottom bolt for the, uh, the, whole, the whole oil stand right there that you're looking at that's where the oil is coming down the side of the block and down into the oil pan area and then obviously going back uh, back of the car um, so that's one issue right there the other issue, which was the valve cover gasket area, you get a leak from there. Um, you can see it's coming off the Vano solenoid at that point. And it is, this is the lower hose right here, coming down and, and uh, onto the lower hose. You can see the oil residue is running down the back side of it. Uh, this can cause a swelling issue and off possible rupture in the future. So I'm going to address that now. So you have no issues with there and then this is obviously the, the bottom side of the radiator on the tank so we have a small coolant drip right here um, this is just something for the future that you might want to address or keep an eye on if you have a uh, little coolant light come on uh, this is more than likely the starting point for where it's going to uh, develop um, that's that and then obviously the suspension issues talk to you about the lower control arms there's this uh, small split developing in the, the uh, ball joint right there and then when I showed you the last time when we squished these things you could see the play in the lower ball joint. Um, the thud that you're having when you hit the brakes or anything like that going over small bumps, some of those back bushings. Um, so those things just you tend to wear out, they lose the, the, the ability to kind of keep tension on the control arm so over time they just wear out and they allow this thing to flop around. So. Those are the, the main issues we talked about, and uh, hopefully you can keep this for future reference for the next time. Um, we'll keep your, uh, an eyeball on everything. All right, Andrew, hope this helps. Thanks, buddy.